Hello, once again, welcome to Adiotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. Remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new content. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how we can create I showed you how we can create a complete WordPress site step by step from scratch. So this was the website we created and I want to show you in this tutorial how we can add a new user. So the person can assist you in editing your website or the person can just be an actor just posting for you. So you can do that by adding a new user. If you've not watched that video, I'm going to leave the link below so that you can go and watch that tutorial. It will, it will help you a lot. So let's jump right into action. So what we need to do is first, we need to log into the dashboard of our WordPress site. Then we can add a new user from there. So I'm going to go to my address bar. So my website slash WP admin and then I'll hit enter. And it's going to give me the login page where I need to enter my username and then what? password so i can provide them my email or password so you can see i need to provide either username or password in order to log in so i'm going to do that by providing my username and then i'm also going to provide a password and then i'll click on login So if everything you provide is accurate, if all your information you provide is accurate, then you are supposed to be in the dashboard just as I am. So I'm in the dashboard now of my WordPress website and you can do any change at all and it's going to reflect at the front end for viewers to see. And to add a new user, all you need to do is to go to the left bar at your dashboard and you can see so many buttons options available but we want to add a new user so we just point our cursor to users and you can see we have all users so all users will allow you to view all users people already registered on your site and we have add new and this is the option where we can add new so this is what we are focusing on today so we want to add a new user so we just go to add new we just click on that and it's going to give us a simple form to fill to provide the details of that particular user okay so you can see we need to get a username of the person which is actually required this is required okay we definitely need the username because you need this in order to log in we also need the email which is also needed to log in we need first name and last name which is not compulsory we have a website which is not compulsory password is also mandatory because you will need password and either the combination of the username or email in order to log in so these informations are very important and the last thing is going to be the rule what is the person what's the position of the person on your website is the person going to be a subscriber just an actor contributor editor or administrator if you give the person administrator that person is going to have a complete privilege he's going to be able to edit change anything on your website the look of your website the person is going to do that remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime we upload a new content so in this short tutorial let's add any user at all and let's make that user administrator like i said if it's a blog website you want the person to be posting for you, you can make that person an actor but in this case let's just give any name and let's go ahead and give any name so i'll say let me just give a username as new user so it depends the name you want to give the person this will call the email as well let me just give any name and then the name first name and the last name column is not mandatory website is not mandatory so you can skip that one and it will work but if you want to add the person's first name and last name you can go ahead and add that and then we'll go to the password you can just leave it as it is and go with the default password but sometimes the default password is very complex and it will be difficult for you to memorize so the best thing for you is to give your own password so you can type in let's say any password at all which would deem it good and it could be a weak password but if you still want to go with you just have to click on this button to confirm your weak password and then last but not the least is the send a user notification so once you create a new user the user will receive a notification through the email that you've been created a user okay and the last thing is the rule so let's just make this person what an actor for now it could be anything you can give the person administrator which is going to have complete rule on the website once everything is said just click on what add new user and it's, if your information is accurate as it's expected of you 
then this information will go through so as you can see we've gotten a confirmation page that a new user has been added that is it so we've added a new user and we can delete this user at any time you want okay right now you realize that i can't delete i don't have the option to delete the first admin because before i can delete this admin then there should be another admin on this website okay so that is it that is how to add a new user and the new user cannot log in and be able to work as an actor on this website so basically this is how to create a new user on a website the person just required the user name or email and the password and login through onto the website the same process thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial till i come your way another time stay safe and subscribe and continue visiting our youtube i have more for you bye bye